Hello everyone. So uh, I have my 2014 Spark and um, what happened, I was out in the river um, and my uh, drive shaft just started, it disengaged from the engine. Uh, the splines I found were kind of worn down. It was making a whirring sound like the engine would spin and slightly hit on the drive shaft but the drive shaft had um, was not connecting. So anyway, here it is. Taken it apart. There's the drive shaft. I just bought a new one on eBay for 210 US and then I bought a new rubber clip which goes right here. And that was actually the problem. This clip I put on, but it has these kind of clips. That one's kind of bent. Anyway, uh, this top one the original clamp had snapped off so when I took it apart this goes to the engine by the way this goes to the propeller and this was the part that wasn't catching I think that the, the shaft had um, slid back like here's the way it goes right inside here that's your waterproof cover and inside is the connection and it goes into this and then there's a rubber boot and the clamp and the, the top part of that clamp was snapped. This part here was still holding it. And what it does, it seems to hold the, because uh, there's a little bit of free play. You can pull this whole drive shaft back a little bit. And um, anyway, so originally I just put it back together and I used one of those clamps, but it didn't hold and it slipped back. I did get to use it for about 20 minutes before it, it went kaput again. So then I thought, oh, screw it, I'm just going to buy a new part. Now I haven't water tested it. Hopefully this side, the um, crankshaft side splines didn't get worn down. I don't think they did because when I put this back in and rode it for 20 minutes, it was it was pretty good. It only slipped after a while, but you know, don't want to have to pull that apart. Anyway, so yeah, here it is. There's the new drive shaft. Sorry, I already put it in. I wasn't going to bother making a video. But um, just in case anyone else, because I read on the forums that um, the, the early Spark models have this problem of a slide out. And um, I think it's caused by the clamp snapping and then the, or the rubber stretching or something. This, um, that rubber clip. Um, so anyway, I know that, so, so it's secured, it's, it's reclamped and it's holding this in tight you know and what I'm gonna do with any free play is before I put this side the new one into here into the propeller side it just pushes on right and there's a uh, splines in there it seems to have a lot of um, about a couple of about this much free space of, of play that's what I measured so I've been trying to find something I can put in to space it so it still has grip space here, right? But it, it can't slide away from the engine side. That's what I'm, uh, that's my plan. I don't want to put it back together and all these screws which take a long time. Here's all the screws, by the way. See, I labeled them, front of the boat, back. Uh, use them, um, using this really helps. When I put them on, I tend to, do it by hand so I don't round anything off, but taking them off you can use a power drill. Pretty easy. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, that's it. Another project I'll be doing is uh, changing the front shocks on my Porsche Buxter when I go over bumps. It doesn't bounce, It just, it they rattle. Especially this side. This side one winter in minus 30. I come in the garage and uh, the fluid had leaked from this shock, so I think that's pretty um, bad. Even though the car kind of drives good, it, it'll rattle. It could be the brakes rattling, just free, you know, before I apply pressure, but... The way it feels, I think um, shocks would be in order. Mm, I think that's about it. That's about it. Okay. So anyway, I wanted to make that video. 
just to see if anyone else is having that problem and hopefully my solution will use in the washer as a spacer to so it can't move back will will help somebody I'll let you know when I get it together and put it on the water for a few days and see how it goes oh by the way is a here's our mannequin guy by the way as another note um, we're kind of paranoid here so we have lots of cameras they're all motion sound sensed uh, lights that come on stuff like that I got cameras all over in the garage and anyway so about 12 o'clock at night pickup truck pulls up on the end of the driveway it was on the road and my motion sensors don't pick up any movement up to this just before the sidewalk otherwise you know you get hundreds of emails of pictures and videos so anyway so I didn't notice them until we went and uh, answered somebody came and rang the doorbell they come to the side door the front entrance is over here they come to this side door like 12 o'clock at night it's a real couple of uh, shady looking people and so I get to the door and I say and, and I didn't even say anything she's already back in the car it was some lady some 30-ish and she goes oh sorry sir um, wrong wrong house wrong number this is a side entrance to the house you would go to the front they were and there was some guy sitting in there you know big old pickup with a, a muffler problem so they took off and um, I think they were scoping the place out to see who would answer and uh, I think what happened is they walked up and you know you can't see them now but at night time these these cameras um, they all have green lights and they start flashing and she would have as she walked up she said she'd see um, the camera fl flash there's one right here and there's another one on the corner of the garage over there and there's another one here so anyway um, they would see all these cameras flashing and go oh I'm recorded if I if I come back and rip off this place then they'll have uh, footage of me coming up to the door a few days earlier which we do anyway we have that because uh, we had kayaks before the uh, jet ski and I left them on the strapped and tied to the top of the van one night somebody came up probably could have been them and uh, cut through the straps and stole the uh, kayaks we eventually got them back because we put an ad on Kijiji if anyone sees these kayaks and somebody actually called us and said hey there are a couple of kayaks that that you described that are um, hidden in a tree over down by the river so we went down and picked them up and it was ours but um, we had another person and then I put the cameras in we had another person could be the same people um, it was like two in the morning and um, I watched them on the cameras they, they, they pull up on the road right there they stop they get out of the car and walk slowly over start to walk up the driveway and that had triggered the cameras and nighttime you know it's pitch black and all you see is this green light strobing which means the camera's recording and so he was looking at it he stops looks at it turns around um, and gets back in his car and drives off so that's the deterrent of security cameras if you don't have them you should get them and that's it bye